Good afternoon everyone. I have been procrastinating doing more videos because, well, it's easier on paper because you don't have to do <laughs> yourself up. <laughs> um, you know, here in dreams, for all you on the dream site, it has to do with glory. And so if you have a dream where your hair is tied up like this one, ask God what is binding his glory in your life, holding your hair, which represents glory. Anyway, factoid. <laughs> this song, this song, this video is going to be about um, getting the piano and honoring your spouse at the same time. So... I just ask right now that the Holy Spirit would speak, that the ears and eyes of our understanding would be open so that we are all blessed by all that he is. So what happened is about, let me see, I started soul healing in November and the end of December, 1st of January, God says, Jamie, it's time for you to get a piano. And I'm like, mm, okay, how do you plan on doing that? Because we live in a very small house and there's not a lot of wall space for our, uh, something like that. And But I knew that if God wanted me to do it, it, everything would happen according to his will. So I just started looking through Craigslist. I didn't know much about keyboards because I've been out of that part of music for a very long time because as far as that worship in me um those works were dead literally and so during soul healing i was using cds that i had and one of my favorites is be thou my vision by for him it is a celtic sound and i remember one night just playing that over and over and again in my headset on repeat and just crying out to the lord is Lord, I want you to be my vision. I want you to be my all in life. And um, right after that is when he said, well, I, you need to get a piano. So I started shopping around and I found this little piano for a couple hundred bucks on Craigslist. And it was local. So I wouldn't have to drive. And I was telling my husband, you know, God's putting it on my heart to get a piano. And he's like, yeah, okay, why don't you just get a keyboard? You can keep it back in the bedroom because he was worried it was going to interrupt the TV. And um, I said, well, I don't know a lot about it. Pianos play even when the power's off. So anyway, he said, well, you know, <clears throat> you know, there's no room. So if you can make it fit, fine. So I went and looked at this piano. I got all excited and told him that, oh, this is a piano. God picked it out for me. I don't know what that guy thought, but I was excited. I gave him $50. And I came home and I was still excited and I said, God, find the right piano. And I bought it. And then the fire breathing, breathing dragon happened. He just blew up. Like, you would think that I told him that I was having an affair with his very best friend. Literally. And so I got quiet and I had been working on Pride, which is another video about Leviathan of all things. And I knew whatever was coming out of my husband's mouth wasn't him because he wouldn't speak to me that way. So I knew it was demonic and I went over there thinking I was so smart and I had learned so much in my three months when I was not a supernatural person. So I went over there and I looked square in his eyes and I said, who is that speaking to me right now, looking at me, what is your name? And you know, he never named himself but boy, did he singe the hair off my head. The most vile, evil, hurtful things came flying out of my husband's mouth like I have never heard in my entire life. And to this day, at later, um, when we talked about it, he, sw he said I was making it all up. So when a demonic spirit, especially one like Leviathan, is manifesting, realize you're... Whoever's speaking, they have no idea what they're saying. Many times they don't. It's like that demon takes over, and then when it's all over, they're, they don't even, like, what's everybody upset for? That kind of thing. Well, anyway, <clears throat> it was very wounding. 
it was, I, I, it would just, I didn't even have any words. So I went back in my room and I said, Lord, what was that? And he gave me the scripture. You will remember the battle and do it no more. Oh, that was Leviathan speaking. Great. And I said, well, Lord, I know you told me to get the piano. I know everything I did was in accordance with what you wanted me to do and I said but as I'm learning to honor my husband I am you're gonna have to change his heart because I'm not going to do like I normally would do and say I don't care what you say you're not the boss of me just like that um, I'm doing it anyway and it's my money and I can do what I want and too bad for you um, yeah that's all not good either <laughs> It doesn't matter if you're right. Leviathan is always about being right. <laughs> and they're so wrong. But anyway, so I waited a couple hours. I prayed and I cried because I was really hurt and just spent time with God so I wouldn't be offended and get healed of that. And then I finally went in a couple hours later and sat down and he had not left that chair. And um, I didn't say anything about the piano. And then he brought it up. He said, so... He said, did you give him a deposit? And I said, yes. And he said, how much? And I said, $50. And he said, I said, well, I guess it's just money lost because I'm not going to do it if you feel that strongly that it's not a good idea. And he said, well, I never said it wasn't a good idea. Really? And um so then he said, I just don't want to have to be the one to figure out how to get it in this house. My truck, it won't fit in because we'll never get it in the back because it'll be too heavy. If you want to rent a U-Haul and you want to get this arranged with this guy because you know you're not going to get your money back, I will help you. So lo and behold, got it all arranged. The next weekend we went and got it and got it into the house and it was very heavy. And... Um, sat down and I was able to, I just started writing music, like a floodgate opened. And the very first song that I wrote was very simple and was a praise song. Um, but it will be out and available, not too distant future. And anyway, so my husband came in and I said, hey, I, I wrote a song and I'd like to share it with you. And he's like, okay. So I played the song and he just, you wrote that? And I said, well, the Holy Spirit, and I wrote it and I had not done much with my music I have been all over the board with it um, I was born um, with this in my DNA and nobody knew what to do with me and I didn't know what to do with me and I did every road because a lot of my life was in rebellion against God for my wounded soul nothing went anywhere so anyway when I was done he was just amazed and then he said well that piano really needs to get tuned and it was January towards the end of January and he said you call somebody and I will pay to have it tuned and he did and that's how God makes a crooked path straight and um, my favorite first song that I wrote because Satan threw everything at me but the kitchen sink. I have story after story about how he used my husband to try and stop my seeking him with my whole heart and soul healing. You have no idea. But I will share those stories as God appropriately leads me to share. And with that being said... Um, Honoring your spouse was a was part of the lesson. Um, trusting him and just watching him change an impossible situation to his glory. And the song that got me through so much is called Hem of Your Garment. It's on this channel, the same channel. And the end result of that song is, I don't care what happens, Lord. I'm not letting go until you heal me and bless my soul no matter what and you know it gets easier um we have less in common with the enemy 
yeah, he's always going to come from us, at us, from the outside. But the less we have in common with him on the inside, um, it's not as um, tumultuous. So I hope this blesses you and that you guys have a blessed day. And the moral of this story is that when you walk in him, seek him with your whole heart, that he truly makes the crooked path, path straight and he will bless you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.